with smartphone prices constantly increasing year over year, you might want your current phone to last a little longer before you do contemplate that upgrade. When long-term support for your handset does end, the next best thing to do is flash a custom ROM. One of the most prominent and popular is Lineage OS. And with their Android 13 Lineage OS 20 now available, here's how it runs, what you should know, and if you should flash it on your phone. You're probably wondering why should I choose Lineage over the mountain of other custom ROMs out there? Well, out of the box, lots of your favorite phones come with limited software support, as you're probably well aware. Over the past few years, the update cadence for most Android phones has really seriously improved, but the limit is still four full operating system updates for most flagship level devices. For older phones and mid rangers not lucky enough to be included in the long-term update plans of Samsung, Honor, OnePlus and more, a ROM offers an expanded lifespan with no extra cost to you, so it's definitely worth considering. Lineage OS 20 is one of the few ROMs out there that includes regular security patches and plenty of support to protect you from exploits and on-device threats. On top of that, this also gives you the ability to get a clean, pixel-like experience but with added functionality and customizability without sacrificing that clean, lightweight AOSP feel that is core to the daily experience. So if you like the Pixel experience and have wanted it on your phone, then this might be one to look at as well for that reason. One thing to expect ahead of flashing Lineage OS 20 is a user interface, as I mentioned, that closely aligns and mimics Google's own Pixel series. Because of that, there is certainly a familiarity for anyone that might have used a Pixel device or a Nexus device previously. That said, little things are just slightly different different enough to feel like a unique version of Android 13 in its own right, and of course it is. The enhanced customizability is something that we'd love to see here in AOSP, and it's welcome for anyone that is frustrated with the limited controls available on Pixel phones and may be wondering why I can't do more with your device. Material U does play a key part, as this is an Android 13 base ROM after all, and it merely complements your wallpaper system and device settings. The nightly build that we have been spending time with is also based on the most recent Android 13 QPR 1 update from December 2020, and that does come with the February 2023 security patch. So it isn't the latest March 2023 patch, which is based upon that QPR 2 release, but that may come later down the line. It is definitely important to note that Google Apps do not come with the Lineage OS 20 ROM by default. That means you'll need to flash the G Apps package to get access to the Play Store and Google Mobile services. A lot of tweaked AOSP apps are therefore the default here rather than Google's own options. These apps include a new camera application named Aperture. It might be called that, but it does lack some of the controls often associated with most Android phones, especially those with Pro modes. You do get access to basic controls such as a timer, aspect ratio plus the shutter itself. Beyond that, the video controls include a full suite of frame rate and resolution options with the ability to mute your microphone when required, which is something we'd really like to see on more devices. One gripe I personally have with Lineage OS's default Jelly OS browser though, is at least to me, it's pretty basic. And although you can access tabs independently from within the recents menu, I quickly went back to Chrome as the added functions and even just the user interface is more visually appealing to me. That said, you do have the option here and you have some impressive added controls if you want full control over your privacy options when browsing the internet, as well as some other notable functions here too. There's also a recorder and music app bundled in. The former is a very simple affair that just lets you record sounds in standard or high quality. For listening to music, the Lineage OS 20 player is, is fine. It's another basic option that lets you play a variety of file types, but it's not gonna be completely game changing. Most of these stock AOSP style apps are starting to show their age here too. And these include the calendar, calculator, messaging contacts, and gallery applications. Sure, they're functional with helpful features. However, for most people, you're probably gonna be looking for a better experience with Google's own calendar, calculator, messages, contacts, and the Google Photos applications, or one of the vast options available on the Google Play Store. For anyone though that prefers a de-Googled experience, then you do have the option to sideload APK files from reputable sources or third-party stores such as F-Droid, and they'll give you access to various apps and games without Google mobile services being required on your device. So for that reason, it is nice to have these default applications to just get you up and running so you can make the decision for yourself. One of the main areas where we think Lineage OS helps increase usability and might be a reason for you to take a look is in the accessibility options that are standard. 
Little functions like increased granular rotation modes and controls are not only useful, but increase accessibility while letting you customize to suit your own daily requirements. The live display color screen calibration and picture adjustment tools are powerful on their own right, and they're certainly sorely lacking in AOSP as it is, but present here in Lineage OS 20. You can almost fully tune the color of your phone screen within the RGB color space or use the hue, saturation and contrast controls to manage just how intense these effects are. For those with vision impairments, I think this is a really great extra option, but it also lets you tune the screen of your phone for that best overall experience, especially as sometimes these are not particularly well calibrated out of the box on cheaper devices. Google also doesn't offer much, by the way, of status bar customization on Pixel phones. Lineage OS 20 includes options that are more common on other OEM skins, and then goes beyond these with abilities to do things like disable or add new quick settings controls. And I think one of the biggest is a dedicated Wi-Fi toggle, alongside with that multi-purpose internet tile, which people definitely complain about. Other enhanced controls that you can activate include the ability to slide the status bar itself, the top of your screen, to adjust your screen brightness. That's a really nice, super quick touch. And Lineage OS 20 also restores the Android 10 theming for icons. Within the settings menus, you can change those app icons on your default home screen to a variety of shapes. Throw in the capability to add even more status bar icons, such as real-time network speed, and you're able to do things that the stock ROM is unable on Pixel devices, and that's definitely another big draw. One neat customization options for this status bar, though, lets you move things like the clock around and even disable the time when a clock widget is visible on your main home screen. This just helps reduce redundancy, and is something I'd actually love to see more Android skins including Pixel devices adopting Future 2. The volume control panel that is floating on the right side of your screen is simplified here in Lineage OS 20 with an expandable menu and sliding controls for alarms, notifications, and of course, system volume. I've definitely found this far more intuitive than the regular docked panel that is favored on vanilla Android 12 and Android 13, as it just puts the most important controls right there within reach. And then on top of that, being able to realign this volume section to the left side of your display is yet another thoughtful customization option at your fingertips, but it doesn't stop there. You're able to use these hardware volume keys to do things like answer calls, control music playback, switch when in various orientations, or even control a cursor when a keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard is connected to your phone. That's just at scratching the surface of the kind of things you can do here but it is worth noting that this isn't the most customizable third-party ROM that is for most devices. I forgot to mention in the default app section that there is an audio effects app here, which gives you access to system level equalizers. Again, like many of the default applications and services baked into your lineage, it isn't necessarily perfect, but it does let you create distinct audio profiles and tune your listening experience to suit you. One of the reasons why I think Lineage OS might be something for you to look at is because it's really perfect for privacy conscious people out there with the trust controls in the settings menu acting as a centralized section for security and privacy controls on your phone. This also gives you the ability to do things like disable or restrict USB access, or even limit an app's abilities to send SMS messages within a time frame of your own choosing. This panel gives a brief overview of the security status of your phone, and I think is a solid inclusion on top of Google's own privacy settings for those worried about on-device privacy and security. As for the platform stability and performance, without attempting to belittle the stellar efforts of independent developers, a problem that many, or at least faces many custom ROM projects out there is a lack of consistency performance and the bugs within them. Despite giving your phone or tablet a new lease on life, old hardware isn't necessarily ideal for the latest software builds without major refinement and optimization. And that's tough to do if you're part of a small independent team. I would say it's tough to determine how every device will perform, but Lineage OS 20 running on my Pixel 4a is an exceptional experience. At times, it feels faster and more fluid than the stock Android 13 build, which was running until recently. That could just be a misinterpretation on my part, having cleared the device and then reset and thrown this ROM on, but the 4A itself does run very well when this is flashed. While the performance is good, I've actually yet to try Google Wallet or any wireless payment service, as this is my backup device and only has a basic SIM in for WhatsApp messaging. It might not work on your device without some extra work, given that your bootloader is unlocked during the flashing process. So I'm struggling to give you a full seal of approval for wireless payments, but there are ways to do this by using specific services like Magisk to enable 
payment options. So to wrap all of this up, should you install Lineage OS 20 on your phone? Well, I've spent a few days running this on my Pixel 4a, a phone that is technically not set to be supported beyond 2023. And while I already had a positive view on third party ROMs as someone that would run Cyanogen mod nightly builds on several old handsets, including the Nexus 5 and Nexus 6P, the Android 13 version of Lineage OS has impressed me far more than I expected. The opportunity to keep an older phone chugging along long into the future is something that if I was not actually surrounded by the latest and greatest smartphones on a regular basis, I would strongly consider. I also think that being able to de-Google your phone would certainly be a big attraction for anyone that is worried, worried or has concerns about the Mountain View firm's privacy stances and changes over the past few years. For everyone else, I will say that Lineage OS 20 offers you the ability to get a lighter, cleaner and faster experience than many heavy skins from the likes of Xiaomi, Oppo, Honor, and even Samsung. It might not be fully optimized in ways that many Android builds are for the specific hardware available, but it runs well enough to be a super and completely free option to you. Increasing the long-term viability of your everyday tech is something that really should be lauded and Lineage OS 20 gives you the platform to eke out a few more years from your trusty and favorite tech. If you want to try Lineage, which I implore you to do so if you have an older phone that is unsupported for yourself, then you can get started via the link down in the description. I want to ask you though, do you have any other ROMs that you have tried and would recommend that we try? Um, pop them down in the comments. I'm always interested to see how the ROM community is getting on as it's uh, an area that I'm really dabbling with again. After all though, this is Damien with 95 Google. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.